Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. You can see I've got several pieces of equipment out today. I'm going to do some getting ready for winter projects here. I need to get the mower deck off of the John Deere. I need to get the zero turn put away for winter. But before we go too far, I want to make sure if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button and click the bell beside it so that you get notified when we put out new videos. If you haven't yet watched the video on the practical gifts for Christmas for him and her, I recommend you go back and take a look at that one. Make sure you comment below it so that you're entered for the 1000 subscriber milestone giveaway. More information on that is in that video. So make sure you go back to that list and take a look at it. There's also some great ideas on there for Christmas gifts for uh, your spouse or the woman in your life. And then also ideas for yourself that you can share with others. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing I wanna do is get the mower deck blown off. I'll use the blower to get all that junk off of it. And then we'll pull into the building and we'll take the deck off. I'll show you how I do that. The easiest way I've found to take the mower deck off of this John Deere 2210. It's about 40 degrees out right now. So, so we'll see a cold start here on the steel blower. That's also how I winterized the blower. I ran it completely out of gas, so now there should be no gas in the carburetor. I do use that Moto Mix or the homemade Moto Mix. It's ethanol free, so it shouldn't be an issue, but I always like to run it out of gas for the winter time. This John Deere 2210 has the Edge 62 inch deck and it doesn't obviously have a drive over or auto connect function. So it's a little bit more difficult to take off than the new versions. And one of the things I've found, especially if you've got the ballast on the back, the back end of the tractor doesn't really get high enough on its own to easily pull the deck out from under it. The low hanging parts of the undercarriage of the tractor often catch on the top of the deck. So what I like to do is back onto a few boards, one on each side. That just gives me a little bit more clearance to pull the deck out from under it. And you also want to make sure you've got at least the deck width of space on the other side of the tractor because you'll be pulling the entire deck to one side of the tractor. I'm going to go ahead and put it in four-wheel drive to back onto these boards just to keep them from spinning on the blocks. First thing you want to do is rotate all four of the dolly wheels. So you just pull this pin so that now they are pointing sideways to roll the deck out from under the tractor. The next thing we want to do is rotate this knob all the way around to the install position. And then we don't even need to start the tractor you can just hit the lever to lower the deck. And that lets it lower all the way down so that it's sitting on those wheels. It also lowers the ballast box or anything you have on the three point hitch. But the deck's all the way down now. The next thing you wanna do is pull these pins on each side. Take a little jiggling. Then I just set it off to the side like that. And same thing on this side. 
And then also, you want to pull the PTO, which you just grab and pull. You can see that's disconnected now. And then the front mounting bracket of the deck, just grab this pin and we're going to rotate this all forward, which you can see is pushing that bracket off of the deck. So here's that front deck mount bracket. And I'm gonna lift the arms out from the deck. And then I'll just be able to pull the entire deck out from under the tractor. I put these spring-loaded clips back through their holes. And this is a great time to inspect everything and make sure it'll be good for next year. I always take a look at the belt, the belt tensioner spring, um, lube up any grease points. And when I store it, I make sure that this is either set to this side or this side because I store it upright against the wall. So it's pretty much ready to go. I just need to lean it against the wall now, make a space for it here. And you can also check the blades. I just replaced my blades. So the next spring when I put this on, it's ready to mow. This deck is not light by any means. That's why they added those lifting points to the new John Deere deck so you can just lift them with your front end loader. So this is where the deck stores for the winter. You can see it's not a difficult process. It's just not as easy as the new systems. I lean this boat spare tire against it, place the bracket up here just to hold it all in place, keep it together, and the tire helps hold it against the wall. Another thing you want to remember to do is rotate this knob all the way over as far towards the lock position as you can get it. And if you jiggle the rack underneath, you can actually get it to go a little further. And that way, as you're using the three-point lift that lifting system for the deck underneath doesn't raise and lower as much. Okay, now I'm going to lift up the forks, pull off of those blocks, and we'll move on to our next task. You can see without the mower deck, you've got considerably more ground clearance here. Uh, the other thing to remember though is you don't have that ballast right in the center of the machine. So that's a lot of weight, it's low to the ground, and it is good ballast and stability for the machine. So you have to remember that too. Yes, you gain that ground clearance, but you also do lose a little bit of ballast. The next thing I want to do is take a look here in the shed. You can see we've got the boat in here and see if there's room for the zero turn in here. I like to put the push mowers in here in the winter time, and I'm thinking about putting the zero turn in here. My biggest fear though is rodents. So you can see I buy these boxes of fresh cab and I'll show you what they look like inside. There's little bags that smell a lot like pine and I usually open them up 
put them on top of a Walmart bag inside the boat and about three different places to keep the mice from being tempted to go inside the boat in the wintertime as it sits back here in the shed. So I need to do that today. Uh, if this is available on Amazon, I'll put a link to it down below. If not, I know for sure they have it at Rural King and other stores like that. Um, our local John Deere dealer also, also carries this. So it, I found it really works well to keep rodents away from getting inside your machines in the wintertime. We also use it in the camper. So one of the downsides to my shed, lesson learned, is the doors go all the way to the ground. So when, in the winter time, if you get a foot or several inches of snow, those doors can't be opened very easily and they actually usually get frozen at the bottom so they can't be opened. So anything I put here in the shed for winter time pretty much stays here all winter long. So it's safe to have the boat down here. I don't use the, the little utility trailer or the wheelbarrow in the winter time. The zero turn would be safe in here as far as not needing it in the winter time. I just worry about the mice getting somewhere into the engine or chewing up the wires. Uh, so I need to think about that before I decide whether or not it can go in here. I do think it would fit to the left of the boat. Now I put these on top of the Walmart bag because it says in the instructions that there is a chance it could leak like an oily residue on stuff. I've never seen any residue, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I actually think they smell really good. So there we go, we've got the rodent repellent fresh cab in the boat. I still have one left that I'll put in the camper. Take my garbage with me. So you can see I was able to get the two push mowers and we'll give the time cutter a try in the shed this winter. So that should do it for mowing this summer. We'll see these again next spring. If you like videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell beside it to be notified when we put out new videos. Like, comment, and share. We really appreciate the support. We'll see you the next time.